What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital. Welcome back to another review show. I'm joined with Rami. It's been a while, man. It has been a while. Yes, we had. We did take a couple of weeks off, but now we are back. And there's a lot of football to get through. Oh, man. We've had FA Cups. We've had EFL Cup Final. Champions League. Champions Premier League, League. Premier League. We've got new leaders. We've yes. got managers under pressure. Managers it's all sacked, happening thing. Managers sacked. New leaders. Brendan Rodgers at Leicester. Everyone's, everyone's, it's all happening What's in the Premier League. What's going on, man? Before we, before we start with the, anything of the Premier League, um, Man City won the first won the first trophy on offer, the EFL Cup against Correct. Chelsea on penalties. Correct. And um, we had a incident with the goalkeeper Kepa. Didn't want to come off. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What do you think about that, man? I think um, it's an embarrassment to the manager. It shows that he's lost complete respect and control of his Cause uh, there players. Because there has been problems like the whole not the whole year, but for for a couple of weeks Look, now. Look, I reckon no matter what, man. You stand your ground. That's your option. Doesn't matter if he's saying I don't want to come off. He's coming off, but he let it go. He called he called Caballero back in, and he yeah, let it play. I think I think Rio Ferdinand said in one one of the um, after the games, he said that the manager should have said to the ref that the game doesn't restart unless he comes off. And John Terry was and, yeah, like expressed you, himself. Yeah, but too. you can tell you can tell how he's kind of lost the dressing room. Like, bro, the kid, the keeper's a kid. He's not listening to you. You're like three times his age. <laughs> Telling him to come off, he's like, like no, nah, don't worry about know it. What? If, he, if he saved that Aguero penalty, which he should have, and then Chelsea ended up winning it, he, he would have gave a leeway. But man, no. Chelsea, Chelsea are in big trouble. But to give him credit, he did drop him, and I think they did find him. Look, that 30, 30, what he, uh, whatever his wage is, um, it's not even a big fine. But he did drop him. He as went well. to charity or something. But, um, but yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea. The next game they did bounce back against Tottenham. And they beat Tottenham, yeah. But still, they're still up and down. They're top three, top yeah, three they, team. They've dropped. They were third. Uh, sorry, they were yeah. No, they were fourth, and now they they dropped to the sixth position. That's right. The Chelsea are a bit, bit, uh, big problems there, but slowly they're bouncing back. They're, what what else have we missed in a few weeks? We watched probably the most boring United Liverpool game I've seen. Yeah, um, injury. To be honest with you, I'm not saying because I'm not saying because I'm a United United fan. The draw is good for us there. We lose three injuries and a half. Yeah, in the first 25 we're, minutes, we're, we're Lingard forced, comes on and we sub, we sub a substitute. Three subs, nil or draw. Um, Look, Liverpool, it's Liverpool's disappointing for them because United, look, three of our best players. Uh, look, maybe not so much matter, but uh, Lingard and Herrera have been really important since Oli has come in. And even Lingard, uh, yeah, Jesse Lingard prior, even with Mourinho. He's been, Martial he's, wasn't there, he was Martial injured. was completely out for this game, um, injured against PSG. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool should have won at United. It was like, they, yeah, they had control of the ball, but they got to the final third and it was like, what do we do? Like nothing outside the box, no chances. Again, no Salah in the big games, he goes missing. But what has actually happened, yeah? So 30 of Decem 30th of December 2018, they're 10 points clear. We are now, we're recording this at early March after after the results of the nil or draw against Everton, the derby. And they're now one point behind first. So they, they've dropped 11 yeah, look, points. Liverpool, Liverpool, your, your bottle, bottle jobs. It's, but you know what, to, that, be, to, I mean, to, like, to, to be fair, they've only lost one game. Yeah, Seven one draws. Game, but you, got, you got more draws than Ikea, yeah? You got, so, that's, why, that's why you're down now, Titanic FC. But, yeah? but you know down. what, you know what? And, um, and I'm happy, and I'm happy. And I told you, I told relax. you we're gonna, and I'm not relaxing, because this is like, can this I say is, this something? This is like though? our trophy. Do, do you want me to be honest? I still think Liverpool's win the league. Look, they, look, they're still in. I reckon they got a better run. Bro, City have harder games. City have versus you know United what? still. Do you know what? I, I think Liverpool don't really have okay, do you many think games. Now, do you think now it's it, usually when the teams first, especially like Liverpool, where they they've been in that situation before and they have lost the league? Do you think now there's less pressure because they're not first? No. Or you think there's more? I reckon pressure? there's more pressure. They got to get back on top of the throne. Yeah. They were they were ten points clean at the end of December, well, right look, before they, New Year. After the New Year, they were they were seven points clear. The day before they versed um, West Ham or Leicester. Yeah. Uh, City loses to Newcastle, and there's your chance to to go ten points clear again. And um, they they drop points. They drop points there. That's that's games like that. Like we we spoke about how. The, the last the last podcast where I asked you is a, is, is there a lot of pressure on Liverpool because they're playing second because City has always managed to be playing first so they if City wins it's, it puts pressure on Liverpool yeah, now they're absolutely, gonna win absolutely. and now even if now they lost City lost and then now it's still pressure that they have to win win the game and 
Look, in them situations, especially the game this morning against Everton, uh, again, uh, Jürgen Klopp, Jürgen Klopp we, we has no plan B. And I thought at the start of the season, he, he sought that sort that problem well, out. Well, you thought that was Sonny Shakiri and, and whatnot. Yeah, but look at Firmino, the subs. Firmino being out was a key player for him, I think. Yeah, but the, he, he was in this game. He was they, playing this game. Yeah, he but did, he but did. the last couple of games, yeah, he's been, he's out, been out. He was injured against United he as well that game. United. It's only been two games. But you knew law. You know City, you know City have already won the day before. Correct. You got um, Keita, you... Keita and Shakiri on the bench. And you seen Shakiri when he comes on, he does he, he does scores damage. goals and yeah, he does yeah, damage. Yeah. But he puts on Alana and Milner. Now, to me, that's a like for like subs. So he's not, you're, Alana, not really, Alana, you're not really Milner changing the... it. You're not really changing it up. And, it's, um, it's, not, it's, coach, it's not making a, it's not making a statement putting the players like Alana. That's what I mean. He doesn't he doesn't got that plan B to be like you know yeah. what we we one point is not good enough. We need to go for it. I think since they lost Coutinho, they haven't really replaced a player like him in, in the midfield, like in that number they're 10 role. They're still looking for that player. I think to they replaced. haven't replaced him, even right. though even though they started the year, they're still they're still like like you said, only that one loss. They're not conceding with Van Dijk in the back. I well, think. How, how many years ago was it when they? I think they didn't lose a game where they lost one, but United lost like how many? But yeah, United's United still won the league. the league. Yeah, because they had so many draws. They're like now, now it's the other side of Manchester yeah. doing it. You know what I mean? They've lost four, but they're. One point ahead when Liverpool's only lost one. Ridiculous, yeah. It's, Seven draws. That means you've lost 14 points from drawing. Yeah. 14 points from draws. And that lost, is ridiculous. They've dropped eight points in the last six games, I think it is. And they, they've won, I think they've won one out of their last four away look, trips. Look, the, 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 the biggest thing for me is Jurgen Klopp. Now, against United, he blamed our injuries for why they didn't win. This morning against Everton, blames the wind. wind blames the wind. Against against Leicester here, oh, there was too much snow on outside of the field. Come like, on, man! I mean, that, look, you got to. That's like that, that's like saying, oh, my my zipper was this slow. Uh, it wasn't this slow. And that, that ball boy that just gave him. Oh, that no, those ones. Well done, Jürgen. The ball boy, and then he gave but, him attitude. He's still looking at it. Like, Jim... Anyway, look, I think the best thing for us to do is go match by match for the most recent round. Yeah, we can do that. Um, and then we'll go from there. Obviously, there's some games in the previous weeks we, we didn't cover, we didn't speak about. There was a big last, the last round before speaking of the round that just passed. We saw big results like 5-1 Bournemouth, Arsenal beating Bournemouth, which was huge. 5-0 Liverpool against Watford was huge. Um, just just certain, a lot of goal scoring results. But for the previous round, we saw Tottenham at home to Arsenal. Yeah. Now, that's always an interesting, interesting fixture. Game. It's always a rough, I, dirty, yeah, look, I think, rough I game. Think Tottenham, yeah. Tottenham were lucky to get even the point there. In I think my so. Opinion. Was it a first pen? goal? It wasn't a pen. It was first first goal was offside. Yeah. Um, was it the first goal? Or did they get the penalty from that? No, no, no. They scored from the they scored in the, in the end from the pen, uh, from the penalty. Seventy fourth minute, Harry Kane scored a penalty. Yeah, but was, did they get the penalty from the offside? There was two. There was two big calls. Correct. There was four players four that were players offside. Were offside but they got four the players penalty. offside. Kane, what did barely got touched, and yeah. then gets a penalty. And he, he puts it away. Of course, he um, does. Kane doesn't miss those. And what was the what was the other decision? Well, Ramsey scored 16th minute, and and to be honest with you, on Tottenham's behalf, a bit embarrassing. The fact that you're at that level, have that much a yard, that many yards to run, yeah. halfway line, he's onside. That's that's terrible, man. To be honest, with you. Beautiful from Ramsey. Oh, great, great way. Um, showing, is, showing his spot, you know. Is, Arsenal, yeah, but you know what? Leaving, That's his. Yeah, look, next season. that was a great way for him to finish a North London derby. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Um, I don't know why they're getting rid of him, man. Just giving. They should have gave him the money. I think, to be honest with you, he's he's a, he's a, he's a key very player. yeah, very yeah, key he player. Is. He's a key I player. I think there is no club, and I'm not exaggerating. There's no club that wouldn't take him. He's a good I'm player. I'm not exaggerating. He, he, no, he's a good player. If you talk about any team, even like City United, they can do a Ramsey. Whenever he plays. Like in these big games, he always yeah. he always steps it up. But um, yeah, look, one or last minute, uh, Tottenham give away a penalty. I think it was a bit soft, but you see, you see him giving. And look, Bomiang steps up and uh, he deliver. Laura saves, but then again, uh, Torreira sees the red the, card, ninety fifth minute on that penalty. Just before we go on, um, Vertonghen was almost on the penalty spot, almost took the penalty. Yeah, that should have been re retaken. He's in the box. That should have been retaken. And and I said that when Milner was taking a penalty against Arsenal. Yeah. Where four Liverpool players are in the box, that should be retaken. What, are the, what is the linesman doing in that position? Is he looking at the penalty well, spot? I think, is he not looking at the whole box? Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Because usually doesn't doesn't the linesman go behind the goal? Doesn't he tuck across and go behind the goal? It's, it's, one that's, of them, that's the, bad. Well, look, one of them. It's either, it's either the, the referee is looking at the keeper so make sure he doesn't come off yeah. the line too early, but that always happens and it never gets pulled up. And then the linesman should be looking at the players in, in the box. Now, if, if, if it's the Arsenal players that came in the box and he missed, I think they should let it go. If it's the Arsenal players that come in and then they score, it should be retaken. But then, but, like, Vertonghen's like, 
literally next to him. Not only that, when that ball gets played in, Vertonghen is the one that clears it over, clears the, it field. over the field. So if he's, if he's backed a couple of metres, he doesn't... Uh, it in. It's, tap, it's a tap in and Arsenal end up winning. Win, and such a so huge result big, too. Yeah, it's a big... And it's, I think the referee was... At the time, the, the top four clash as yeah, well. I think it's a, it's a, that's the two big points dropped for Arsenal, look, especially... But, 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 the but what's funny, yeah, you look at the stats, Tottenham 61% possession. Yeah. Tottenham had 200 more passes 200 more odd passes than Arsenal, yet didn't deserve to win the game. Yeah. They weren't clinical. Um, players like Ericsson, non existent. Um, Harry Kane didn't do much all no. game. I think Sun was the one player I kind of looked at. Danny Rose was a bit dangerous at times. Yeah. yeah we, we, but Ericsson, not much, yeah. Like yeah. Like, not much. Ericsson has been, dropped off. He has dropped off big yes, time, man. Yes. He has I used to look time. at him like, what a magician. One of the top midfielders in the league. But they gotta, they got to step it up in the big games, especially now. I think Dele Alli being out hurts. Yeah. Hurts. They, they've, they, look, they've had. They've had injuries. They've they've had players. Well, they have didn't make no signings, so their depth kind of hurt to, them there. But to their credit, they have gone for a lot of signings. They have maintained third position, I think, for the majority of the season. Which you got to give them credit for. But on this note, and this is a huge topic. Before we go on to the next match of the round, huge topic. Everyone talks about how good the manager is. Manager is Ponchettino, yeah. He's won zero, zero. He's brings zero trophies home yeah. in the, since he's and come the in. The thing is, the thing so is, is, is he really a good manager? I think I think where he's where he's taken. Where do we Tottenham, draw the line? Where do we draw the line? Look, I, I think where he's taken Tottenham from where they were to what they are now, with no signings, the style of football they're playing, it is entertaining. Yeah, but so he has got him. Look, he has got him to to a level where maybe where Tottenham haven't been before. But yes, they need to start. A manager's they job to, is to bring they trophies. Need to, they need to. Anything, the first like even if it's an like EFL Cup, whatever you play your strongest team throughout the whole tournament win and try, something. try and win that. He hasn't won um, a single thing for them. They added, I think they added the FA Cup as well. Yeah, they are. And um, on your point, yeah, back with Mourinho was at United. Yeah, everyone blabbed out, but he did this, that. He won Europa for us. Yeah. He won FA Cup for us. There were things that he won for United. Yeah. Pochettino sitting there. How many five seasons now? Four, five seasons. Yeah, and, and zero trophies. Zero trophies. And I know. know yeah, like, top four Champions League every like, year. Like uh, that's really the, good. Yeah, but the thing is, but like, what else? he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't even got into a final, I don't think. The last no. five, five years, I don't. He hasn't even got into no. a final. Hasn't it's come always, close to win the league. It's always a se it's always like a semi final, and then they get knocked out. They're always in the background watching the top um, two guy at it. And it's uh, so where do we draw the line? They, they had a chance to win it that year when Leicester won it, and they ended up coming third in a in a in a two horse two horse race there. But um, look, look, Tottenham. I, 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 I they had been a bit of a slump because they did lose to Burnley. I then agree. They lost I to, agree. Then they lost to Chelsea. I agree. They lost uh, so. But yeah, I do want to ask you guys, I want to ask you guys, now, do Tottenham look for a new manager? And you know what's funny, everyone talks about Pochettino, well, Poch, linked with the United, linked with this, linked with that. Yeah. So, does he just grab, pack his bag and say, look, I've done my time here, I haven't won a title yet. Yeah, I've, I've brought good culture to the club, good football. I think, I think. Brought the talents in the club, but where do you draw the line? Do you keep sitting back in top three, top four, top look, three, top at four? at the end no of the day, no you, you're going to look at him uh, on the other side of the fence where they haven't given you money to, to buy players. Yeah, but we, has he really knocked on the door to get for it? You, you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. He could be asking for it. I think he's they the need, first manager if, if they to give not him buy money, anyone yeah, back-to-back back, back windows. Yeah, but maybe he needs players, he wants to buy players, but they're not giving him the money. Yes, what, they're building a new stadium. What yes, type of players would you look for in that team? I don't know. Maybe maybe some more creative players. They got who, who, left, who left to go to China? Was it Dembele? Someone like that they should have kept. I think so. I think they should have kept. And you know what's funny? The, look, the, the whole squad is the overall need, squad need, now. You is... do need some de depth in your squad because when you're when you're missing like players like uh, Kane up front, L Lorente, he, nah. he, it doesn't cut it really. He's got an own goal. He's he scored, went, right? yeah, but he has. All right, he's he scored some goals that they've won some games, but he's nah. not a player that nah. you can you can put Fall in. back on. Like when you got when you got players like just say for example, Man City, Aguero is out, Jesus comes in and he does the job. He scores two goals. He's a brilliant player. You can put the, the rotation of the squads, even Liverpool. All right, uh, Firmino's out, Salah can play, Mane's there. So they've got players to rotate. Even to some extent, Sturridge, even though he's injured. Yeah, whatever, Sturridge, Origi, whatever. they come on and they, they score the goals. Yeah, yeah. And Origi scored a, a Arsenal, great goal Lacazette, two weeks ago against Watford. Arsenal, Lacazette, Aubameyang, uh, got, Warbeck to some extent. Awobi. Awobi. So you got players that, that these guys, no if, like if, if you guys go on Fantasy Premier League, you go to Tottenham and go to their strikers, it's only two two players. It's, it's bad. You know, you know what I mean? So it's bad. They do need to recruit. And look, you, you, gotta, you can't really judge him until, yeah, I know he's bought plays in the past, but at this moment, with the, with the team they got, if, if you get some decent plays in, it doesn't matter. It could oh, just a boost the squad. It'll change they, everything. They could, they could change. Because really, had injuries, really if, they, if they didn't lose to, to Burnley and, so, and even if they got a result against Chelsea, you're looking at, at 
only like what six, six or three, four points behind uh, City at the top of the league. Well, that means they're still contending. You're not at the three points behind Tottenham now. Yeah. Well, that's... Um, and you know what's funny? Yeah, their squad now is the best I think Tottenham has been. Yeah. No, but well, look back to the days. Yeah, they didn't have a centre mid like Modric. Yeah. They didn't have Bale. Uh, a Van player like Bale. Bale. They didn't really have oh Van der Vaart, but he was a gun. Yeah? yeah, he was a gun. But you look at. Yeah, the squad's better now overall than it was back then, but they don't have a player like Modric, they don't have a player like Bale. That's why they need to bring him in. You see what I mean? You gotta, you gotta start bringing See, someone in. like Bale right now in the club will change everything. Yeah, they, they, they don't have that amazing superstar in the squad. Kane's the top striker, I get it. In the midfield, which top player they have? Son, to me, is probably their best player at the moment. He's been informed since he came back from the uh, Asia Cup. He's Even before that, but yeah, yeah, you're right, him, saving yeah. their ass. But look, on that note, yeah, uh, it, it's an interesting one with Tottenham, isn't it? Um, but look, we then saw Burnley at home to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace won 3 1. Crystal Palace have been in good form. Can yeah, I say lost. something? Zaha is. is from, did you see his goal? I, I didn't say that. He actually. took three players one way, cut, took three players one way, cut, three players went and scored. I've, He's a freak. I think even with. Um, but Suawe adding to the squad was a brilliant that's, signing. I was just about to say that. That's a good. That's a good um, brilliant signing. Addition. And that's what I mean. Even even like Tottenham, you go for a player like that. Go for Pesci, nothing, nothing outstanding, but he gets you the goals. He does. You know what I mean? He, he went to Dortmund, got him goals there. He went but to even then, Zaha's just killing it, man. Like, oh, he's been amazing. Um, um, I always saw Chris Fellas beating Burnley. We won't dwell too much in that game, I don't think. But just, just before, uh, a funny funny clip, I'll get, I'll get it up for you, for yeah. you guys. With. Um, with Ben Teke, just let me get it up. When he was on the bench, he ended up coming on. He's asking, hey. for, the, he's asking for the high hands five up. here. Hands up. He's like, yeah, hands come up. on, come on, Kuyate. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, that's rough. Denied. That's Denied. rough. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. Denied. That's not fair. That's just hello, <laughs> darkness, my old friend. <laughs> but um, look. Um, Crystal Palace looking good. Yeah, they're looking Zaha good. Zaha looking did, brilliant. They, against, looking great. In midweek against United, they did lose, but they... They challenged us. They did. They did. They didn't make it easy for United. No. But I mean, look, they're looking good. They're getting They're getting the results. They're getting away they're in the top half of the table, I think, now. Yeah. But, um... On to Brighton. We, we, we saw Brighton at home to Huddersfield. Yeah. Brighton Nothing to talk too much about yeah, that. Yeah, Huddersfield, that's it. I think they're, they're gone. Yeah, really Huddersfield. Dated. Yeah, well, one of our picks for relegation one of our pre-season. Picks are gone. So I think that's gone. Brighton hanging in there. They Brighton are hanging in there. Yeah, you know what? Hanging in there. Um, yeah, I mean nothing else much to say about it. Um, we then saw Bournemouth at home to Man City. Now Bournemouth previous week lost five 0 five one to Arsenal. Five yeah. one to Arsenal, and then we saw City just win. We saw Maris come on off the bench. Yeah, well, City. Do you know what? Slot yeah. away. He got. He got. I think he came off. What's just after the second half? Fifty fourth minute. Yeah. So um. Look, the last two games for City, one nil, one nil against uh, West Ham, one nil against uh, Bournemouth. Here, so they're getting the result. But look, though... look, three points, three points. We always say that, yeah. yeah? One nil, one nil. But if you bring the stats up on the screen, bring the stats up on the screen, yeah. Twenty-three shots to zero means City's favour. Seven on target to zero. So Bournemouth didn't yeah. threaten the goals. Eighty-two percent possession. 809 passes to 176 passes. Yeah, look, you're control the 90% passing accuracy to 57. Yeah. So complete domination. And I think I think it was uh, exactly the same against West Ham as well. 14 corners to zero. Like uh, the stats are. Yeah, ridiculous. look, I know, but at the end, look, you can have all them stats, and all it takes is is one, one counter attack goal. Counter attack, and you you cut you cop a goal. We seen we seen a, a Chelsea and Tottenham where. Where Trippier went to do a back pass and he put it in the back of his neck. Oh my god. Something like <laughs> what a what a goal, yeah. yeah but best like, on goal. Best you know what goal. I mean? Like, like a, 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 a lapse in concentration like that and City City dropped more points. But look, you're one year up, you control the game, and you get you get the results and you gotta give it to them, they're top of the table now. Well, speaking about doing it hard and just getting the results, we then saw Man United at home to Southampton. Yeah. Now this was a challenge for United. Yeah, our last two games. Can last I just three say games will have been not, not saying again because it's a United game. I think this is. A, it's been a long time since I've watched the match where every goal was amazing. Oh, this yeah, cracker! Every goal, every From both squads, yeah, yeah, unbelievable. That man. first, like, if David De Gea is to get beaten by any sort of shot, it was it's like that, that first one. one, like top corner. And I think Valerie, a new, yeah. a new, a new uh, the Newcastle player pinged one in this this week. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, I can't remember who it was. Unbelievable goal. But yeah, he he's one of the goals of the season there. But yeah, the United game. Look, we went one 0 down in the. Uh, in the first half, yep. it was it was one 0 we, we came out second half. Um, look, they they put it on us. Uh, look, we, Valerie's goal was amazing. They 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 shook us a bit, yeah. They have, they did. And you know what? It's it kind of our injury. We kind of been struggling with our injuries, and I think what our problem has been in the last two games. 
is Matic being out. Look, because now uh, Pogba has to sit a bit deeper and, and he's not that, he, exactly. He's not that as creative and he's not as forward as he, he has still developed with Mourinho. But now you see why he wasn't effective under Mourinho because he had him in deep yeah, as defensive. Now without, he's an attacking now player. without now without Matic or even a player that that does that, Herrera, that Matic but his Herrera's more of like a. But see, look, the fact that Matic and Herrera aren't there, Pogba has to count a lot more. Yeah. yeah? Look, so he he sat back, but they did make it hard for us. Look, but but you know what's funny? Yeah, for United, you, you went from a centre midfield that has been the same week in week out with Solskjaer to Fred, who's barely played this year, and Pereira, who's barely played this year as well. Yeah. So we have now a partnership that haven't played. Yeah. But on that note, Pereira's goal was amazing. Uh, I swear, Shaw was a bit frustrated. The overlapping run was there. The every I swear everyone said it. I was saying, hey, "Give it to Shaw. Give, give it, it to Shaw. Shaw. What a run!" When he hit, when he, and then he cut it, it, and when he pinged it, yeah, I was look, like celebrating. That's my his friend. first Celebrate. first United goal for him. And what a celebration! Well what a goal! And you know what? He he actually played well in he this did. game. He had Even a, the previous game when he came off the bench. Yeah, he had, the had a, he had a minutes. few. He had a like he was had a bit of a rough patch the last yeah. couple of games. I think against Liverpool, the game. Uh, we draw at home to Burnley, the two all draw. I think he get he cost us one goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, um, that's right. He look, did cost he, us the goal. Look, it's it's good. Look, look we, we know, we know his potential. It, yeah. We know, we know he's, got a, he's got good potential. We saw but, it in the Spanish league. Um, but yeah, look, they they Southampton. You got to give them credit. They are fighting for that relegation battle. I think they're just just on top. Yeah, that's right. So they did make it hard for us, and I think since their new manager has come in, they haven't lost too many games. No. They they beat Arsenal when when he, they, he first came in. They went on a few a, a winning run. They got some a few draws there. I don't think they've lost they've lost many, and they've been playing some decent football. They, they, they are. They, are. they did have a few players out. I think. Right. Um, they, they are one spot Ings, behind relegation. Ings, was, Ings wasn't playing for him. He's them. a key player for him. Charlie Charlie Austin came off. Off. He yeah. wasn't really no. in, in the game, but I'm like, look, United, United did the job, and again, look, uh, once again with Oliver Nasolsha, we haven't lost the game in the Premier League. We haven't. Um, um, to me, the key player this game, and uh, it's props, and I think he needed this kind of game was Lukaku slotting two away, four goals and, in and, and there were classy goals, yeah. yeah. Um, cutting in the left, hitting with the right. Uh, uh, to be honest, look here. Yeah, it's both, good that he scored. Right I don't think I don't. I still don't think he was man of the match. No, he wasn't um, man of the match, but he was a key player for us scoring two. Obviously, yeah, two goals away. Brilliant goals, and that's the type of goals you expect Lukaku to score, especially that. that the commentator the said one, that, that, that's that's a Lukaku. The, the third one he scored where he just where uh, Fred just flicked it on. He turns it just first time hit. And that's that's a that's the striker that you want. That's clinical. That knows where the goal is. Doesn't but it meant to, a lot to him. Doesn't yeah? have to take. It. Oh yeah, you saw. It, it meant a lot. He saw. He's like giving the yellow card. I'm took, taking my shirt off. Took his shirt off. Um, it means a lot to him. But um. Look yeah. for me before we go on to the next game. Key players for us have to be our two and five. The low and sure to me look, look magic. The best sub he could have done was yeah. take Sanchez off and put the low on. I saw the difference instantly. Yeah, he, oh, he set up the first goal. He, I saw the difference. His crosses, instantly. his crosses that he put in, and you have got to give credit to to um, Smalling, Smalling and Lindelof because I think they were solid in the back. The whole backline was. I think uh, Smalling now we gave we've, we've been giving out a lot of stick, but I think he's been. Uh, you can't complain in this game, him and Lindelof. One thing I have to agree with you is Young's not there and it's looking better. I, I have to admit yeah, it. Well, Young was playing. But no, but the thing is, not at that spot, yeah? So Delo comes on and then it Put keeps Young him. back a yeah, bit more. Because Young goes uh, forward Ashley too Young much, can't cover. So Delo's now going first, forward. The two, goals, the two goals came from Ashley Young. It's simple as that. Again, he can't defend. He can't cross a ball in. And the, the last and they couple of games, him and I'm, I'm telling you, every week I, I notice this, this guy can't cross a ball in. But what do you do? But um, before we move on quickly, uh, you, you mentioned Sanchez. He hasn't, he, he, hasn't cut he, it. He can't can't catch a break, man. Uh, I don't know. Look, I still I still think that he has got it in him, but I don't know how how many chances he's gonna need. Do you still reckon he's better than Mkhitaryan? Uh, look, Mkhitaryan hasn't really been. Yeah, he's, he's been scored. good for Arsenal lately. Not really, because he hasn't been playing. Goal and assist. Goal. And he got yeah, two goals and assist yeah, last week and all the week. Before. But then you can say that when he, when Sanchez played against played against yeah, FA yeah, Cup, he scored a goal. He assisted, and before that, he assisted two for two for um, Lukaku. So just because he comes on and scores or and assists doesn't mean he's he's had a great season. I think they've both had a poor Sanchez season. Sanchez is, is a big talk, man. But I think. But look, I, I don't know, man. I think to, in the summer it might be time to move yeah, him on. Yeah, he's got he has they, to they, go. They, they, to, to look to wrap it all up. To wrap it all up, United now sit fourth. If you go back to before Solskjaer came around, it was a disaster. Three points behind Tottenham. They're looking good, yeah. He hasn't lost the game yet. He's keeping undefeated running the Premier League going. But then we then saw Wolves at home to Cardiff. Yeah, Wolves doing all right. Wolves sitting, Wolves sitting um, uh, seventh on the table. Did Cardiff. you actually watch? You, have you seen the goals? No, I, didn't, this game? I didn't see the goals. Man, can I say, tick attack of football at its finest. They'll be playing. They, well, they'll be playing Jota today. and Jimenez are like glued together. Yeah. This touch, 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 touch goal. It's, the port, it's exactly Portuguese football, man. Yeah. If you watch it, <laughs> unbelievable, brilliant. Jimenez and Yota absolutely killing it. It was a great game to watch. 
They deserve to win. You can't have um, trouble there oh, in the relegation zone. Brilliant, so brilliant, brilliant goals, man. They're not looking, man. they're not in a, in a pretty position on the table. But then, yeah, look, West Ham, West Ham, Newcastle. Yeah, 2-0 um, to West Ham. Newcastle have been doing great lately. They're sitting at 14th they have, now. They've, they've they found have, themselves well out of the relegation zone. But then West Ham as well, they've been in form and West Ham ended up winning this game. And um, Now, they're six points by relegation, yeah, who, which is brilliant. What was, it, was it 2-0? Yeah, yeah, 2-0 to West Ham. And um, the first goal scorer, Declan Rice. Yes. He's been, he's been decent he this season now. I'm not surprised quality. if he gets picked up in the summer by a bigger, bigger club. I, I, I'm not sure if he's just signed a new contract for West Ham. I'm not sure. There's a few players like that. Even if, if you look back to like Wamba Saka for Crystal Palace, he has to we go next come, come to United. We need him at United. Wamba Saka has, has to leave Crystal leave. Palace. He has um, to. Zaha's going to get from Crystal Palace as well. But yeah, look, it was a great but goal. Great goal, Ham, by, yeah. great goal by Declan Rice and done that. The gun lane celebration. Yeah, the, the gun lane. Yeah. Gun lane. Yeah, but, um, and then we saw Noble he, penalty slotting yeah. away. Standard. If but you know what, West Ham, play. Newcastle. Look, props to both of them. They, they, they bounce back. They bounce back. That, they, West Ham were in tr big trouble at the start of the season. Yeah. So was Newcastle. Newcastle were in massive trouble. Couldn't win a game in like nine. Remember games. how much we said about they didn't win in the first nine. They didn't win. I think and it was them and Huddersfield that didn't win games. Yeah, but look, and you see Huddersfield stayed there. And Newcastle fourteenth. But look, you've got, 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 you got both managers there. Benitez, where um, experience managers. Experience. He's won. He's won Champions League. He's won leagues. And Pellegrini. He's also won the league. So they know what they're doing, but look, it's again both clubs haven't, uh, Props especially, to both. especially Newcastle, that the owners haven't really given money to spend. Correct. But they're doing well. They're, they're out of they the are. out of the uh, relegation zones now. They're in the mid table. But yeah, look, then we had uh, Watford versus Leicester City. We Too got for new, new manager for Leicester. They got rid yeah, of the coach. Brendan Rodgers. Brendan Rodgers has come in and he's got his first loss straight away. Straight away, good. But well look, done. Watford, Watford have left. been. He came back the way he left. <laughs> Watford, <laughs> Watford have been up and down. But they have have been decent. I think I think you mentioned it last last week. Well, sorry, the last uh, episode where you spoke about Dini and Dini again. This this game he was killing. I think one goal, one assist. He's he's and very he's key been, for them. He's been a, a big part of. Um, Look, to be fair, the table. to be fair, they did score ninety second minute. They won just in the end. Football's football. It is what it is. Vardy's looking him. He's dangerous off again. Yeah. Now, don't forget for everyone that's thinking about Vardy, how he was when they won it. He had, he had Mares behind him, he had Kante behind him. They've both gone on to bigger, better clubs, Chelsea City. Yeah. He stayed, remained, he's remained, yeah. So he's he's missing that presence behind him. But Vardy is looking dangerous well, he's again. Got, he's got Madison there as well, that's a great player. But you know what, look, you can't you can't say anything about Rodgers at the moment. He's just come in. Who no, knows no, how many training can't. We're just taking the piece. But I think, I think Brendan Rodgers will put in a system that will benefit Vardy. Absolutely. He'll put in that system like they, like they did when they won the league. Make sure you feed this player. Oh, balls over the top and let him run onto it and let him get the goals absolutely because they got the players Damari Gray he's, he's another player that can get on the ball quality that can, player that can score some quality goals but yeah look let, let's start I don't, think, I, I don't think they're in any trouble they, nah. they, were, they are up there as well Next they're not going to win the league balls, but they're not going to win top four they're not gonna, but yeah they're not in much trouble look we then, we then saw Chelsea win 2 on a way to Fulham yeah well Fulham again has sacked their coach on year he's gone um, and I think it, it's yeah. become a trend in the Premier I don't know if it's only the Premier League, but a lot of managers are getting sacked during the season, no one's, eh? No, one, no one's job is uh, safe. No. Ranieri's come in, I think he's won one game in the, what, 10 games? He's been there, 12 games, whatever. And a lot of the fans not happy with the system, not happy with the plays that he's, he's putting on. Um, and, uh, another the person. style of football is not the best. And I think, I don't know, it's, it's something that ha you have to change. But on the note of that topic, yeah, the opposition, Chelsea, now that's another manager that's in trouble. Yeah. I don't think he should be there by a season come, coming to an end. He's, he's gone this season. Well, I don't think that he, I think he would walk because I, I, I just, A lot of disrespect to him as well, yeah, I feel like. Well, and he's, I and feel he's, like the club's not treating him too you well. Gotta, you got to, it's kind of a trend at Chelsea. Everyone speaks How about the How many managers they go but, through? You know, you got uh, players turn their back on Mourinho, uh, uh, on, on Conte, uh, now now on Sarri. It's like these Chelsea players think they're... I won't lie to you, man. To me, it's, it, it starts the owner. Um, well, Bramovich, I don't know if he's, he's not even in the country. They still won't let him in the country. The owners, the owners, just it's just too much, man. Like even back when um, who was it that was there? Because because he didn't play Torres after winning the Champions League. Benitez um, or something? Was no, it? not Benitez. Um, oh, what's wrong with me? Alvan Grant. Nah, the old manager. Years ago. Shirik. No, nah, he was just a kid take. I don't know. Anyway, they they they, they, they I remember they, they won the Champions League. A couple games later. A couple of seasons later, didn't play Torres for a game. The owner sacked him. It was just ridiculous. Like the owners, the owners is there playing puppeteer, you know, playing the uh, puppet master. It's just a joke, yeah. You got to have some consistency. You got to, you got to have some kind of respect within the club. Now, Chelsea did win two and two one away to Fulham. Not convincing. Hasn't been convincing for weeks. The best result they've done in weeks and weeks is beating Tottenham. 
So, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's not convincing from Chaucer's end. Now, the new Sonic Higuain's come in and scored. Um, but he saw, hasn't really been that clinical as, as we thought he would be. I mean, you've seen him play uh, for big clubs in the past, uh, you know? Look, definitely, definitely better than Marata, better impact than Marata. you you, you got to give him that. He's just on loan. Now, Chelsea got the two-window two, two window match, uh, two window band, transfer band. What's going to happen now with them? And what's scary to me is, is Hazard's gone, I think. If, well, if, Last season. This is the thing. Like He's got to go. If, if Hazard is... Is he gonna do? Is he gonna do what Griezmann done and uh, reject the move to Man United to stay at Atletico because they had the transfer ban? Or is he gonna do that with Chelsea? Maybe stay nah, at Chelsea? He won't and, stay. Or is he gonna leave because Chelsea? Look, if, if Chelsea don't, if, if they appeal and they don't get they don't get the, the transfer ban clear, we have seen it happen with Madrid and Barcelona. They look, get the ban. And it is a key time in his career. though. He's twenty eight. Yeah. Look, does no, he commit I, or does I, he move I, to bigger better things knows, like Real Madrid? For example, everyone knows he has to go. He knows himself. He has to go. He's got to get challenged. So he's twenty eight. He's like a freak of a player. Manager, one of the best in the world. Manager has come out and said about him leaving. Like the manager saying, yeah, if he if he wants to leave, he can leave. Like. So it's, who knows what's happening behind the scenes? He hasn't really been performing as he did when he when he came back after the World Cup. He hasn't really been putting in the goals. I don't think he seems that interested anymore. That's that's what I'm saying. He, he could be ready to leave because he, he's already come out. I'm not sure if it was on social media or in, or in an interview. He has said that he, he's he's already made his decision. And re, if you see Real Madrid how they're going in their league, they got what done three 0 to Barcelona. Now again, oh, they, they lost one 0 So. They're, they're going to be desperate to sign they, kind of they players, need like players So they're going to throw the money at, at whatever they want for for Hazard. Well, they're going to need he's to. Go. He's got to go. They're, 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 they're going to have to look for players like Hazard. Um, uh, they have to. Yeah, they have and to. I think for his career, he's at, a 20, he's at 28 years old right now. He's at a pivotal time in his career. Whatever decision he makes from here onwards will determine the rest of his career, I think. And it's, it's very Especially clear. now that I think there was rumours that Modric might be leaving, Cruz might be going. So they're losing some big, big plays here. And how much legs does Benzema have? Um, you know, he's still he's still been there somehow for. He's been for there so nine for so long, man. It's so, ridiculous. Um, Look, and then the, and on that note, um, the last the last match of the the round, we saw the derby. Yeah, so we, we already spoke about we already touched on that. Everton a bit. versus Liverpool. But, um, um, we already touched on the kind of and look, it, it was it for me. For me, the biggest talking point in this game is the amount of chances that Salah missed. Well, let me before we go on this one of our our posts from one of our friends, Goran. He said he's a Liverpool supporter. Yeah, Liverpool supporter. Rest in peace, Liverpool. And the title chances uh, are pretty much gone. Uh, Salah, most overrated player. In world nah, that, that's that's exaggerating. I think. Uh, not the most overrated. Come on, I he's still a quality yeah, look, player. I don't. I don't I really he's not don't, a freakish player to me. He's a quality think, player. I don't think he's overrated. Um, I still called but, one season one day. I said it last year. That's me. But he has to do it in big games, and we. He hasn't scored against a single big club this season. I've seen a stat. Tottenham, United, Chelsea, well, Arsenal, Liverpool. Yet, so. um, in, in, in PSG, in the Champions League, literally no big club has he scored a goal against yet. So now, he has, right, not been doing everything's not a big club. But this is a key... It's a derby. So it's a, a key game. team for so your for club. The fans, look, to be honest, the, the Merseyside derby is not like the... It's not Manchester no, derby. It's not the biggest derby. It's it's <laughs> no, it's not even like everyone knows. Liverpool, even the Manchester derby compared compared to Liverpool and Man United, it doesn't compare. Oh, right? nothing beats Man United. But Liverpool. it is a derby. It is your your neighbours. Like literally, you can walk across the park and you're at Everton Stadium. That's how close these stadiums are, right? You can look at across. There's a lot of history in that match. Yeah. And there's a lot of yeah. You're right. There's a lot of history and like. He had the two best chances of the game to put away, and Salah would put them away nine times out of ten. And it was chance he didn't shoot, and then Keane came back and tackled him. It was a great tackle from Keane. Oh, Magic tackle. tackle. But, tackle. but he's got to be more clinical in front of goals. Yeah. Now, Like, yeah, right, you're clinical against Watford. You scored two goals. But then when it comes to the games that actually matter, when it comes to like City losing to Newcastle, and then you're playing Leicester or, or, or West Ham, this is when you got to step up. Yeah, absolutely. These are when the big players, like everyone, everyone speaks about. Oh, Pogba wasn't the greatest, about. But now you can see when it, when the time, when the time comes, he's stepping up. Yeah, he, all right, he missed the penalty. The game was kind of already done, 90th minute. So it didn't really hurt us. But players like that, you got to step up. Like if you want to be the classified as one of the best, we've seen Ronaldo. When it's time to shine, give him the ball. He puts him away. Messi, the same thing. And Salah, did you, he, and, and, he was PFA player of the and, year last and, year. And, They're giving him goals yeah. of the season, yeah, yeah, player, yeah, all these, yeah, yeah, all these yeah. uh, awards. But what's happening well, now? Right now, the, the, they're saying the three best right now, Messi, Mbappe and Salah. I, I disagree. I completely that disagree. is where he's right about the overrating. That is where he's right. That, yeah, you're saying over... stuff like that, relax. He's not even, to me, the best player in the Premier League. No, he's not. Aguero, I don't, Hazard. I don't, I don't think he is. But you know I mean. what I mean? But still, like, I'm not... 
We're not banging him out. We're not he's, saying, he's a great player. He, oh, and, he's proved and, he that, he, and he's proved that in the Premier League. But he's just very, especially this season, not only him, the whole front three have been inconsistent this whole season. Oh, the talk for Liverpool this season has been their back line. Look, Van Dijk has got to be the best. Van Dijk center, center, center in, the Premier League. in the Premier League. Absolutely. And, and he's got to be up there to be the best defender in the world. And Robertson's the been a monster for them the this moment. season. So they're not, they're not scoring goals, but they're not conceding goals no. as well. Like, for the Liverpool defence, and you've got to look at their midfield as well. I don't think they've got an okay midfield. I don't think it's the best midfield to have. Look, they have they have look, the likes of Keita, Fabinho. Yeah, but look, for, all right, if you're the, if you're the, the Liverpool's defensive line, that, that is probably the best best midfield for you guys. But for for the, the forwards, no it's one. not really the best. Coutinho's not there. You don't so got that, you don't got that creative player. And you know what? I thought Keita was going to be that player because you saw him at, at Leipzig last year and you yeah. saw him at the start of the year. Oh, we he's, he's we got watched him and we're like, He's got a potential. Wow, like, look at this When player. they signed him, I'm like, this is the dangerous. The first couple of games, he was just on fire doing turn, turning Danger. players yeah, inside yeah. out. And now he's, he's barely coming Here's another thing as well, yeah. Liverpool in the past have been known for dipping into their youth system. They haven't been doing that lately. Well, they got Alexander-Arnold. I think he was from the youth yeah, system. Yeah, he was. I think Robertson, I'm not sure. It, I'm uh, talking about in the midfield sense. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. And I don't you know, know what I mean? Dipping to, dip to youth system, but I Jürgen, think Jürgen definitely Klopp, Klopp, the next window. Uh, look. I spoke to a good mate of mine that's a Liverpool fan and he told me when the January transfer window closed and they didn't sign players, he told me we've lost the league. That's what he told me. Mm. I think they should have signed one or two players just to take it home, bring yeah. it home. They were, they were well ahead back in January. Um, but guys, one thing I do want to ask you, yeah? Uh, the Liverpool still in the league or is it City's, is it City's league this year? Drop your comments below, let us know. Um, what do you think? I, I think... I do agree that Liverpool has the easier run, and I think I, I still kind of uh, I don't know. I've been saying City because not what you want to believe. No, no, what, what I want to believe. Okay, what what I believe at the moment, City are are, are playing the the better football out of both teams. Oh, in the last rounds, uh, yeah. I think all year, in my opinion, I think they've been playing the better football all year. When when they they have, okay. they have. Yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is. When it's crunch time, City know how to get the result. Guardiola knows how to get the result. He'll put on, he'll take off, leave one defender, leave Stones in the back, or leave Mendy in the back, and and, and um, put all attacking just to win a game. Where Klopp, he, he's he's a bit more reserved, like for like changes, doesn't have a, doesn't really have a plan B, and that might hurt him. He's got to make changes. He's just got to say, you know what, Shakiri start warming up, Keita start warming up. Now I think Chamberlain is back. You gotta get these attacking players when you need it, especially like Everton. Yeah, it's a derby, but Everton have been up and like haven't yeah. really been great this season. Absolutely. But um, I, I I still believe City City are gonna win the league. I still think City are gonna win the league. Um, I'm going with Liverpool. Liverpool, Liverpool, still. Liverpool yeah, they, they've won one. They've won. Uh, sorry, they've that, lost. Yeah. They've lost that one game. But you got like I said, you got more draws than IKEA. And look, they've gone down now, yeah, Titanic FC, they're going down more, you might even come third. But have you heard they're building a ship that is identical to the Titanic? That's why, that's why you're going down, yeah, Titanic FC, you have bottle jobs, and this is why I'm happy, yeah, this is why I'm happy, yeah, happy days. Yeah? I wouldn't jump the happy gun, yeah. Happy days. I'm realistic, man, they've got yeah, it easy, they, the they, they're one point behind top, um, I know oh, look, they, they can still win it, they can still win it, but yeah. you know what? I, I actually I, think, I think they are going to win it, and I think they're going to drop points to United, they are going to drop points, um, Look, Liverpool still have Chelsea. I reckon Oli Solskjaer is gonna do put all the all the kids on in that City game, and then we'll probably still win. As he as <laughs> a United, we'll yeah, win, like, as a United fan, I want us to beat City still. It's still a match to derby. Yeah, whatever. but you know what? We haven't been that, that great at home this season. We've been. I think Oli's got the record now out of all any manager at, at Manchester United. But he's done he's done better than any manager start. He's done better than, than Alex Ferguson start. Yeah, so um, but I, don't I still know. think Alex Ferguson is behind the scenes. Yeah, he is. He is. But um, yeah. Look, City for me. It, is gonna win the league. Yeah. I think you Liverpool will see guys. Who do you think is gonna make the top four? Because that that race is now. Um, I, think, I think Chelsea. I think what it is right now is it's gonna end. I think like Chelsea. That. Chelsea uh, have still got a game in hand. If they win it against uh, Brighton, that means they go fourth. But uh, still, still nine games to go. Still nine games to go. So it's it's very interesting um, with the running, especially rele there's a, a big relegation battle as well. Top there four is. battle. Uh, and you know what? Respect. Respect to Wolves and Watford sitting on 43 yeah. points equal. 7th and 8th, right behind Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea can drop further. I don't think they'll make 13 points. Yeah, no, they won't. No, they won't make 13 points, but... No. I'm, I'm just... But look, you know what? It's a tight title race. We've got one point between 1st and 2nd. We've got 3 points behind 3rd and 4th. Um, between 6th and 3rd is only 5 points. 
Quick so maths. quick maths. Yeah, quick maths. Um, so it's tight. It's a, it's a tight title, man. Nine games to go. And, and you look at the bottom of the table. You look at so eleventh. You know what? Let's even go eleventh. Yeah, Leicester sitting on thirty-five points. That's eight points. Uh, ten points behind relegation zone. So ten it's points. all tight. Ten yeah. Points. It's all tight, man. No, that's how many. That's like, that's like ten spots with only ten points. Yeah. It, it's huge, yeah. So, look, when Mourinho was at United, we were close to relegation. Then we were to first. Um, Solskjaer's just come in and changed it. Change the game. Change the game. Liverpool are now second. <clears throat> United are now three points behind third. I'm happy. Are you happy? Mm. We haven't lost the game, man. One defeated. Mm. If you know, if if the the Premier League started when Solskjaer came in, we're first. So I think we're gonna go by that uh, ladder. We're top of the league. We're top of the league, guys. <laughs> but yeah, we'll wrap it up there. But before we go, I've got one more question for Rami. One more question, yeah. I know I've been asking you questions all bloody day. Right, it's been but, a few um, weeks, man. Uh, this video's gonna be longer than usual, we understand than that. Usual, but I've got one more question up. for him. You know my wedding's coming up? Yeah. I wanna ask you to be my best man. No way. Of course, bro. My brother. What a legend, my of brother. course, bro. Thank you so course, much. Bro, Thank fire you so out, much. Man. Yes. That's the gym. Not, no, not, not, not football wow. related. Not football related, but we ended yeah, up on a good note. Yeah, man. Liverpool second. The best man in the house. Guys, we'll see you next week.